NASA's Lunar Orbiter 2 was a spacecraft designed to study and photograph the surface of the Moon. It was launched on November 6, 1966, and was the second spacecraft to orbit the Moon. The primary objective of the mission was to capture detailed images of potential landing sites for the Apollo missions. Lunar Orbiter 2 was equipped with a high-resolution camera system that could take detailed photographs of the Moon's surface. The camera system was capable of capturing images with a resolution of up to 1 meter per pixel. The spacecraft also had a gamma-ray spectrometer, which was used to measure the elemental composition of the Moon's surface. During its mission, Lunar Orbiter 2 took over 200 high-resolution photographs of the Moon's surface. These images provided important information about potential landing sites for the Apollo missions. The images also helped scientists better understand the Moon's geology and composition. One of the most significant images captured by Lunar Orbiter 2 was the first photograph of the Copernicus Crater, which is one of the largest and most visible craters on the Moon. The photograph showed the rugged terrain surrounding the crater and provided valuable information about the Moon's geology. In addition to its scientific objectives, Lunar Orbiter 2 was also a technological achievement. It was the first spacecraft to be controlled remotely from Earth using a computer. The spacecraft was also equipped with a system that allowed it to communicate directly with Earth using a high-gain antenna. Despite its successes, Lunar Orbiter 2 was not without its challenges. In December 1966, the spacecraft experienced a malfunction that caused it to lose contact with Earth. After several attempts to re-establish communication, NASA engineers were able to restore contact with the spacecraft. The Lunar Orbiter 2 mission lasted for one year and one day, during which time it completed 44 orbits around the Moon. The spacecraft eventually ran out of fuel and was intentionally crashed into the Moon's surface on October 11, 1967. The data collected by Lunar Orbiter 2 played a crucial role in the success of the Apollo missions. The high-resolution images of potential landing sites provided valuable information that helped NASA select landing sites for the Apollo missions. The images also helped scientists better understand the Moon's geology and composition. The legacy of Lunar Orbiter 2 lives on today. The photographs taken by the spacecraft continue to be studied and analyzed by scientists around the world. They provide a detailed record of the Moon's surface and are an important resource for future lunar exploration. Lunar Orbiter 2 was one of several spacecraft that NASA sent to study the Moon during the 1960s and 1970s. These missions helped lay the foundation for our understanding of the Moon and paved the way for future lunar exploration. In addition to its scientific achievements, Lunar Orbiter 2 also demonstrated the importance of technological innovation in space exploration. The spacecraft's computer-controlled systems and high-gain antenna were groundbreaking at the time and helped pave the way for future space missions. The Lunar Orbiter 2 mission also highlighted the importance of collaboration and teamwork in space exploration. The mission involved hundreds of scientists, engineers, and technicians working together to achieve a common goal. Overall, the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was a significant achievement in the history of space exploration. The data collected by the spacecraft helped pave the way for future lunar missions and contributed to our understanding of the Moon's geology and composition. The legacy of the mission lives on today, as scientists continue to study the photographs and data collected by Lunar Orbiter 2. One of the most significant challenges of the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was the need to develop new technology to capture high-resolution images of the Moon's surface. The camera system used by the spacecraft was a new type of camera that had never been used before in space. The development of this camera system required extensive research and development, as well as collaboration between NASA and private industry partners. One of the most important contributions of the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was the development of new methods for navigating and controlling spacecraft in lunar orbit. The mission demonstrated the feasibility of using computer-controlled systems to navigate spacecraft in space, paving the way for future space exploration missions. The images captured by Lunar Orbiter 2 have been instrumental in helping scientists better understand the Moon's history and evolution. The high-resolution images have allowed scientists to study the surface of the Moon in detail, revealing features that were previously unknown. The Lunar Orbiter 2 mission also played a critical role in preparing for the Apollo missions. The images captured by the spacecraft provided valuable information about potential landing sites, allowing NASA to select landing sites that were safe and scientifically interesting. In addition to its scientific objectives, Lunar Orbiter 2 also played an important role in the Cold War space race between the United States and the Soviet Union. The mission demonstrated that the United States was capable of developing advanced technology and conducting complex space missions. 
The Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was not without controversy. Some critics argued that the mission was a waste of resources, given the high cost of developing the spacecraft in the camera system. Others argued that the mission was unnecessary, given that the Soviet Union had already launched several spacecraft to study the moon. Despite these criticisms, the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was widely regarded as a success. The data collected by the spacecraft has helped to advance our understanding of the moon's geology and composition, and has paved the way for future lunar exploration missions. The legacy of the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission can be seen in the continued exploration of the moon by NASA and other space agencies around the world. The data collected by the spacecraft continues to be used by scientists to study the moon's surface and better understand its history and evolution. The Lunar Orbiter 2 mission also demonstrated the importance of international collaboration in space exploration. The mission involved collaboration between NASA and private industry partners, as well as international partners such as the United Kingdom and Australia. The success of the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission helped to establish the United States as a leader in space exploration. The mission demonstrated that the United States was capable of developing advanced technology and conducting complex space missions, and helped to pave the way for future space exploration missions. Overall, the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was a significant achievement in the history of space exploration. The mission demonstrated the importance of technological innovation, collaboration, and scientific discovery in space exploration, and paved the way for future lunar exploration missions. One of the key innovations of the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was the use of a new type of camera system that allowed for high resolution imaging of the lunar surface. The camera system used a special film that was developed specifically for the mission, and was capable of capturing images with a resolution of up to 60 meters per pixel. The spacecraft also featured advanced communications technology that allowed for real-time transmission of data back to Earth. This was a significant advancement at the time, as previous spacecraft had relied on storing data on tape and transmitting it back to Earth later. The Lunar Orbiter 2 mission faced several challenges during its journey to the Moon. One of the most significant challenges was the need to navigate the spacecraft through the Van Allen radiation belts, which posed a threat to the spacecraft's electronics. NASA scientists worked to develop shielding and other measures to protect the spacecraft during its journey. Once the spacecraft reached lunar orbit, it began its mission of mapping and imaging the moon's surface. The spacecraft orbited the moon for several months, collecting data and transmitting it back to Earth. One of the most significant discoveries made by the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was the identification of potential landing sites for the Apollo missions. The spacecraft captured high-resolution images of the moon's surface, which allowed NASA scientists to identify safe and scientifically interesting landing sites for the Apollo missions. The Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was not without its challenges. The spacecraft experienced several technical issues during its mission, including problems with its imaging system and its propulsion system. However, NASA scientists were able to overcome these issues and continue the mission. One of the key achievements of the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was its contribution to the scientific understanding of the Moon's geology and composition. The data collected by the spacecraft allowed scientists to study the Moon's surface in detail, revealing new insights into its formation and evolution. The Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was also an important milestone in the history of space exploration. The mission demonstrated the ability of humans to explore and study other planets and celestial bodies, and paved the way for future space exploration missions. The success of the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission was due in large part to the hard work and dedication of the NASA scientists and engineers who designed and built the spacecraft. The mission was a testament to the ingenuity and innovation of the American space program. Today, the legacy of the Lunar Orbiter 2 mission can be seen in the continued exploration of the Moon by NASA and other space agencies. The data collected by the spacecraft continues to be used by scientists to study the Moon's surface and better understand its history and evolution.